Hello there. So, if you've ever purchased a reel from us in the past, you may have received it and thought, why is the seal broken on the box? Well, there's actually a really good reason for that, because we check off every single reel that leaves the building. We want to make sure it arrives with you in absolutely perfect condition, as it should. So let's take this uh, Pen Fathom 15, for example, really popular reel at the moment. We'd start off by turning the handle, make sure that's running smoothly, obviously. Uh, the clutch, we make sure that will loosen all the way off, like that. That's absolutely fine. We'll tighten it all the way up and make sure it locks the spool solid, which it does. Then we'll move on to the free spool lever. Obviously, the probably the most important thing on the reel, really. That's fine. That works. Flick it back. Re-engage the gears. Perfect. What we can also do at this stage is check the end float. Which is this one here that's fine can loosen it all the way off sideways play tighten it up so there's just a tiny bit of movement in the spool which is how you want to use it really when you're casting off the shore absolutely fine flip the reel round got the ratchet check that clicks into place nice and loud crisp ratchet we all like to hear those going off Flip it back again, and that's fine. Obviously, we give the reel a good look over, make sure it's, it's cosmetically pleasing, there's no blemishes, no marks that, that may have occurred in the, uh, the manufacturing process. And yeah, that one's good to go. So that's the multiplier reel. We do exactly the same thing with the fixed spool. I'll show you now. Pop this one out of the box. Nicely protected with a bit of bubble wrap. And the first thing I'm going to do is open out the handle, make sure that locks in properly as it should do. Just tighten that up on there. That's fine. Nice and smooth. The reel oscillates correctly. See the spool travelling up and down. Occasionally we get a faulty reel where the spool won't actually go up and down. That would of course be uh, immediately rejected. On top of the reel we've got the clutch. This is what locks the spool in place. Uh, obviously, when you're casting, you want that fully locked down, nice and tight, so the spool doesn't move. And then, if you're lucky enough to hook a big fish, you can slacken off the, the clutch with the drag there. So the bail arm, a lot of the reels nowadays are manual pickup. And by this, I mean, once you've cast out, you flip the bail arm back over by hand. Gone are the days where you turn the handle to re-engage the bail arm. The thinking behind this is literally that as you're casting, if the bail arm flips back over, you're obviously going to have a crack off. So the bail arm springs are a lot stiffer nowadays, as you can hear. So that's basically that. We'll check the anti-reverse, which on this particular reel features at the back uh, of, the, uh, of the rotor. Uh, there we go. Just check that actually locks which it does only turns one way flip it back the other way and it'll travel both ways obviously this reel is well it's in pristine condition as you would expect from a brand new reel there's no marks there's no scuffs and um, that one's absolutely fine so it's good to go but as i say this is exactly what we do with all of the reels that we send out from here we want them to be in perfect a1 working condition when you receive them just as they should be